you're traveling all over the country. Your business, you started in 1998. How big is your staff? Back then it was one, me and an assistant. And uh, if I had, if I didn't have her at the time, it would have been, a, there would have been a lot of juggling. And I was still juggling anyway, because, you know, when you work with people, you, it's one-on-one, -on -one, you know, or if you're meeting with a husband and wife, or you're meeting with a client and it's a young client, their parents. So, you know, there's paperwork involved. Now everything's done so remotely and, you know, uh, emails and whatnot, e-signatures. But back then it was a hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, I was a foot soldier. You know, I went and I walked the hills and, you know, the mountains and everything in between just to get the client and also show them who, you know, who I am and what I'm all about. So uh, now... Uh, I have a much uh, greater operation because I have a partner. His name is Chris Muro, and we have an office in Boca Raton, and uh, we have other offices that are in, you know, the five boroughs in New Jersey. And the support staff is incredible. Everything gets done, and uh, we get a lot of business, and not just professional athlete business. It's entrepreneurs, it's business owners, it's uh, restaurant owners, the, it's a whole format or a whole, uh, a whole world of clients. When I first started, it was more the athletic uh, client. But when you're going to events like I'm going to, you get to meet business owners, you meet entrepreneurs. Right. And, and you know what? They're like, hey, I didn't know you did that. Well, hey, why don't you take a look at my stuff? Or you just plain out ask, hey, I know you might be working with somebody, but uh, hey, there might be savings there. It might be show, we might be able to show you something that you don't know about. And that's what's led to uh, becoming a bigger operation and, and having a, a great team around me. I ask you this because people see you now. You're successful. People tend to look at folks where they are and they don't put a nudge enough focus on where they begin. And I love that you said it was an operation. You're traveling seven days a week. You are going like the Energizer Bunny. And you're like, it's an operation of one. It was me. And then I have my assistant. And there is something to be said about putting in the work, humble beginnings, and being willing to do everything from sweeping the floor to, you know, booking your own airline ticket to, to hailing a cat, whatever it might be. Long before the car services come into play, long before I can reach out to somebody in my office and say, hey, check the email and fill this out and get it back to, you started, like most entrepreneurs do, very, very humble. It's you, one other person, and just work. And I think, I, I love that you shared that with our audience because they need to know this is the way, it, it doesn't matter if it's the biggest business in the world, this is how most businesses start. They start very, very small with almost no staff. It's you doing anything and everything under the sun and grinding to make it happen. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.